He might be here, but if he ain't here right now, then he's tardy until I say otherwise. Okay. Libby. Hmm? Hey, you not worry about Dai Chi and worry more about the California State Assembly. Oh, yeah. Do you like fruit? Absolutely. Oh, like oh, oh, How do oh, you oh, do? Oh. Don't get that booty far out. Okay. <laughs> say, don't get that booty far. Yeah. Booby far. Don't fart. Did you just give away, did he buy them off you or you? Yeah. <laughs> I would have bought them, honestly. Did you make a profit? No. Oh. All That's right. That's the only I problem. The same uh, you should have made a profit. I would have made a profit. Made it from him. You probably could have sold them for like 500 times what they cost. <laughs> well, apparently her mom just like gives her a like, I'm getting more right house. now. So. I lost my pencil. Hey, that actually looks good. Oh, no. Now I have to use the pencil sharpener that doesn't work. Huh? Okay. 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 Alright, 
I'll be back at the end. You guys are going to need your books. We're going to review, review, review. Okay, what I'll do, Chris, is on Monday, I am going to, uh, I'll have everything ready to uh, print and the first thing. Okay. On Monday, in fact, I'll have it ready to go at 7.30. Okay, I'll be here Monday. Oh, I hope so. I will. Can I talk to you Sure. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. It's just one. No, no, you're a lot of, you're, the tamale stuff got all over the floor. Not cool. Tamale. Don't throw water on the floor. Get up. There's going to be water bathroom, on the floor in a minute. Get a paper towel and clean up. There's going to be water because on the floor. Because what's going to happen one, one second. is that she won't be able to ever hand out tamales again, and that's not fair. Got it? Thank you. Never do that again. Okay? Eat it. It's a piece of tamale. That's why you can eat it. Uh, Tai Tai, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what back of this is. Sir, right? Sir, back of this. Really? These are all out of reach. What? Mr. Alton. No, that's cool. You can buy tamale. I want to help. Help out an entrepreneur. Wasn't right. better not be like hot tamale. <laughs> I get a tamale, and next thing you know, you're on the cosmic train. Wasn't right. Do you get a paper towel and eat it? <laughs> See, instead of sitting up at night eating spinach, why don't you just eat a damn tamale then? Then you're not going to come to school like starving. Yes, sir, you're right. Remember what I said about how the human body works and about hedonic hunger, and then what happens is you put yourself in a deficit and the body overcompensates, and then you screw up all the work you've been trying to do. That's why you have to do things in small increments and do it smart. What? Yes, Dr. Wong. And so then what happens too is your body hangs onto those calories, converts them to fat. Are you a nutritionist? No, but I've done okay. a lot of research on this. What's he? So I know we had a conversation about something like that. Right? Right? In the morning, I have the oatmeal. At lunchtime, I have like two apples. That's not what we're talking about. But then, we're then talking about, spinach. yeah, we're, we're talking about, and you're probably. No, it's spinach, but then it has to be eggs with spinach. So y'all take out your books, okay? And I want you guys to turn to page 697 through 99. What we did yesterday, I want to go over first, start off with the powers of the governor. And then, so take out your books, guys. This is a very important day. So it's all review. Take out your books, 697. Let's go, chop, chop, take out your books. Why are you waiting so long, Andrew? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Good Humor Ice Cream Man. Say what? You don't know that the Good Humor Ice Cream Man? You've never seen the picture of the Good Humor Ice Cream Man? That's what you look like. 
Or you look like a worker asking out burger. No, it definitely doesn't look like you were thinking Are you looking up the good humor? I can look up the good humor ice cream man. I think it's the good humor ice cream man. Oh, maybe a milk guy? Say what? Milk guy? A milk guy? Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I know some ice cream. It's so dirty. The good humor ice cream man. Bad humor ice cream man. Yeah. You, I think he has a hat. Google Images. Yeah. Yeah. He has a tie. Let's see, it's all on a white tie. Headphones. It's all white. Headphones. Yeah. 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 yeah, see? What, see? You just want to argue with me, to argue. You don't worry about what? Oh, I guess he is worried about what? Well, he's wearing a blue jacket. Yeah, see, Trevor? He also has a hat. Let's see, Trevor. Let's see, picture. That's a good humor ice cream. By what? Those. Those? Yeah. What are those? Those. Those smells. Those. And yeah. the uh, From a freaking store? since our current governor is a he. One executive power. You know what page this is on? Excellent. So you look up that section that says executive powers. Take a little look see right there. Okay, well it starts right here actually. 696. This book was made in Schwarzenegger with the Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> 696, starting there into 697, what are some of his executives? Just give me one of his executive powers. What's something as the chief executor for the state of California? Okay, if I don't see cell phones put away, I'm taking them. This is not a cell phone time right now. You need to be working on... I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Okay. <laughs> well, just tell me instead of, and then I wouldn't have. Samantha, can you give me one of his executive powers, please? Okay, so if you look at page 697, they are numbered. One, the second, under one, meaning appointment and removal has various aspects of it. So that's one executive power. You see that? It's in italics. Appointment and removal. He can appoint and he can remove legislators. Number two, what's his second executive power? Samantha. Um, Super? Both supervisory powers, okay? He supervises things, okay? You guys don't have to get, you just need to know what they are. You can assume what supervision means, right? Anybody need me to explain supervision? Okay. What's his third executive? 
I'm going to hide with you so hard, all of those tamales are going to come up. Okay. His third executive power, Tyler, give me a... You know, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You're talking about old man straight. My son, who's very fit, wanted to... Uh, he, was doing, he was doing leg ups. And I was doing leg ups with them, and he didn't know that I, I, I do leg ups all the time. Like uh, underneath my fat, I have a very strong core, and so I was. He could not beat me in a leg up contest. Okay, that's the only thing I have on him. He's smarter than me, better looking than me, which is do more leg ups. I can do more leg ups, and I can you know the I don't know if you guys do it's where you hang, and then you bring your legs both feet up together. But I do a pull up into a leg up. And then back down. At the same time, like you pull up, and you're in an L, and then I bring bring them up to, I bring my knees towards my chin, and then I'm back down, and I do it again. Did you get them? Yeah. Got the step. Man, this is like a this is like a freaking this is like this is like being on the streets right now. All right, <laughs> go ahead, do what you got to do. I'm on. No, no, no. They, they should be a buck fifty. Okay. Now listen. Before you do this, I don't want to repeat this again. Now stop. You two. You guys can pay for it. Go get a paper towel first. Lay the paper towel on top over the desk. Don't go into that room. You're gonna go to the bathroom to get it. Okay. All right. Tyler, his third executive power. Budget making powers. Anybody need me to explain what budgets are? You guys know what budgets are, right? Andrew, what's a budget? Give me an example of a budget in your own life. Do any of you, my, my daughter. Money. Uh, it's money. Well, yeah, it's money. It relates to money, but budget and money are, don't tell me that you understand the concept. Save. One second. What? Safe money. Safe money? No, I'm still not hearing the concept the way I want to explain it. It's an amount of money that you limit yourself to. Both. Prioritization. Okay. Okay, so I hear things like prioritization. So budgeting is a verb. Budgeting is a concept, the amount of money you limit yourself to. So I asked my daughter, I said, before I help you buy this car, I helped her buy a car, I said, I want you to come up with your budget. And I want you to break your budget, your monthly budget down for me. Why don't you look at your inflow, what's your outflow, and let's talk about this, and let's see what you can reasonably pay on this car. And the amount, she said, when I said, hey, can you handle this amount? She said, yeah. I said, do a budget? Yeah. I said, okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. I want to see it. Write it out. Okay, I didn't do a budget. I made it up in my head. Write it out. She wrote it out and goes, oh, I can't afford that amount. I said, I didn't think so. It didn't make sense that you could. That's why it's important you guys write a budget, that you guys understand the concept of a budget. When you guys leave econ, hopefully, if there's one thing I teach you guys, besides the fact that in American government you have the power to change things through your vote, or you have a voice, whether it changes it or not. That's an American government, and that you know basic structures of the government, okay? And then an econ, that you understand basically how a society, an industrial society works, what the inflow and outflow of money, where it comes from, what it goes to, and that you guys understand the inflow and outflow of money in your own lives. Why? A budget is important. Yes. Do you think you can cost? Yes. Yeah, it's econ. Well, econ will be. No, that's geography yeah. on the board. Okay. Next semester, this class, if you stay in this class, third period with Wallace, this class becomes an economics class. And you got to do a little bit of math in this class. But trust me, For econ? It, it, it's Wallace math. So it ain't nothing that you guys can't do. I don't get it. And if you guys can't do it, then you might as well freaking go to Mars because if I can do it, you better be able to do it. And if you can't, then just accept the fact that all hell has broken loose.
I don't know. I'm kidding. Math. So. <laughs> if you can't do it, you will be able to do it with a calculator. Anyway, before we continue with that, maybe another executive power answer. So we got supervisory powers. We got the power to appoint and remove. This is governor of California. Oh, and by the way, Nico, before I go any further and ask for the fourth executive power, what is the pay for the governor of California as of the printing of this book? What's that? 110000 Libby, what's wrong with that answer? What does $110,000 apply to a year? And it's not the governorship. However, it does go to a state legislators who? Senator. Assembly members of the Senate. Okay, governor makes how much, Trevor? 175. 175,000. Devin, how long is a governor's term in the state of California for one term? How long is a term? One term. <clears throat> so if you become governor, how many years are you going to be governor for? I'll give you a hint. It's between three and five. That's a damn good answer. What's between three and five? Four. Eight is between three and five. Let me tell you something. Okay? If I ever give you money to go get me something, Remind me not to trust you to bring me back change. Okay? Now listen. I'm messing with you. The number between three and five. One, two, three, four. Four, four years. Tie tie. How many terms is the governor of the state of California limited to? Either six or eight. You're right. It's one of those. Which one? Six. Okay, now think about this. Think about this. If he has a four-year term, oh, okay. oh, there you go. Okay. Um. So back to I can't remember who it was. Was it you, Andrew? What was that fourth executive power? Uh, military power. Military. So you guys turn the page there. We are on six. Oh no! Wait a minute. Very good. Tyler, maybe one of his legislative, no, 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 I'm just, just executive, and then judicial power. We're not going to worry about legislative power. Look, he's a legislator, so he can come up with bills. He can come up with initiatives. Does the governor come up with a referendum, Xavier? That's not on that page. This is a, this is a, if you understand the difference between an initiative and a referendum, you will understand this. Can a governor come up, will a governor come up with a referendum? Don't, don't look. Does anyone know the answer to that question? You got to know. So the referendum goes back to, I'm not going to tell you, it goes back to direct legislation, two types. There's the initiative and the referendum. You remember, you guys remember who, who, uh, it initiates the initiative. Who? Lobbyists. The assembly. Oh, yeah. Legislators. Okay? And then referendums come from who? Now, a referendum, here's a hint, could come from a lobbyist because a lobbyist is one of these people. The public. The public. Yeah. The referendum comes from the public, and that could be driven by a lobbyist. Now, guys, the referendum could come, it could be inspired by a legislator. Like, I could be a legislator up in the state of, um, or I'm sorry, up in Shasta County. And I could say, listen, I'm not going to get this passed through an initiative because no one in the assembly is going to pass this. But if you guys can start a grassroots campaign to get this passed through. Sorry. Hope you catch your flight. Thank you. But he might say, if you guys do a grassroots campaign and you link up with a group down in Orange County, we might be able to pass this as a referendum. So it's not like a, a politician, a legislator can't inspire or be the catalyst for a referendum. But the referendum comes from the voters. 
Okay? All right. Judicial powers. Maybe one judicial power in each of is governor of the state of California. Do you need your textbook? Do I have one? Oh, you have it? Okay. I think it's right here, though. Nico, what is one of his judicial powers? She said she has her notes. Oh, you don't need this? No. You got the notes for gover gover governor powers? Uh, you might, just in case. Because that's what we're doing right now. So if you don't have it on the notes, it'll be difficult to answer if you have not committed these memories. Nico, what is one judicial power? The power to pardon to commute, to reprieve, power to grant clemency, okay? I'm not gonna get into what each of these things mean, just no one of them. So that if you hear about them later on in life and you say, hey, there's this uh, criminal who's just been pardoned and I don't agree with it, can the governor do that? Did you guys understand that the governor? And if the governor does it, and you and many, many citizens like you are so appalled by it, you would like to see the governor lose his job. Do you guys have any say over that, Nico? Yeah, what can you do? What can you as citizens do? Boom. Okay? You can, you can create a referendum for a recall vote for the governor. All right? All right, so the last thing, guys, uh, governmental powers, I said we would talk about today. Does Nick not like movies? Say what? Nick. Does he not? No, I just threw up, threw up that uh, sentence just okay. as an example. Okay, and then the last thing I said will not be on the, um, the final, but I'd like you guys to follow along, and they are the other executive officers here in the state of California. Okay, so those include the lieutenant governor. Uh, here's what I'd like you guys to do. Skim that, and I'm going to call on one of you to tell me what are, like, tell me one fact about the lieutenant governor. In fact, all of you, I might call on all of you to tell me one fact. So skim that, it's on page 699 right now. Just skim that, 699. Lieutenant governor, why don't you skim that instead of looking up at the freaking ceiling. Are those... Oh, no. That's what might have been the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. You know what was really weird? I just, I got to share this with you guys. I know that. I just got to tell you guys. Today I said, I told my first period class, I said I was eating a burrito and it was so good I was making inappropriate noises. One of the students asked, and I'm still troubled by this. They asked, well, were you making donkey noises, Mr. Wallace? <laughs> Victor said what? That. Mr. Oh. Wallace. Yeah. Victor said that. Victor. Yeah. Well, I was trying not to call the person out. Oh. Notice I didn't use a name. <laughs> My thing is this. First of all, I don't think donkey noises are inappropriate. <laughs> but why would a person eating a burrito, having a really kind of Maybe. sensual experience, make a donkey noise? <laughs> Maybe he thinks you're out here. That I make donkey noises while I eat something I really like. Like, like I would imagine most of you would think, okay, I was making it for you would think I'd say something like, I'd be in room. Oh, yeah. <coughs> right? Like, they have commercials when people are like drinking certain soft drinks or eating chocolates or something. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> or like, you know, the like Carl Jr. Jr. Remember? Remember? Do I know what pisses me off about, like, you know, like the Lindt chocolate commercials or whatever? Okay. Okay, she's like sitting on like a couch, like next to the fireplace, and then she like bites into half of it. That's not really realistic. Like, you just put the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah. Like, that's not realistic. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. 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 <laughs> that makes you mad. Yeah, that's not realistic. You just freaking put yeah. the whole thing on. You don't yeah. bite half of it. You can do that, Lily. Just put the whole thing just, in your mouth. Just like put like three. Yeah, imagine that. You know, I got yelled at today. 
We're eating a handful of M&Ms, and so Mrs. Mason is sitting there. Yeah. So I uh, stole. I mean, I took, um, I borrowed a pack of M&Ms from one of the faculty <laughs> boxes. You're eating a lot of chocolate. Mm. Well, no, no. Today there was a reason. I took an Allegra. You know, my eyes have been itching. Oh. I was just in, <laughs> so I took an Allegra. I took wow. one last night. I took one this morning, and I wanted, but I didn't have any because I don't eat breakfast. I didn't have any, so I was like, ah. I gotta get something in my stomach. I don't know, you know, I don't know how my, like, I didn't, you know, want to have, you know, bad things happen to me later. So I got, I found these M&M's, right? Yeah. Matt, no, no, wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 stop. Stop. First of all, A, I'm a man. I make my own damn decisions. No, Breakfast is a smart thing to eat. Okay. B, I also, but at the same time, I don't eat breakfast, but I eat. I eat throughout the day, and I get enough calories to meet my, you know, clearly, I get enough calories to meet my needs, and then some, okay? So there's a big difference between You're looking pretty thin, me. Thank, you know what? <laughs> you are a beautiful person, thank you. She so wants to be Yeah, she, she wants to be burning. <laughs> So, anyway, what the hell are you talking about? That, no, no, no. Chocolate. No. You, you're you're in drugs. Oh, yeah. So I was eating events, and then all of a sudden, Mrs. Mason says to me, wait a minute, you don't eat m and Okay, so ask, or answer me this. Do you guys eat m and one at a time? Yes. yes. Really? Yes. No. Yes. Okay, so here's what she told me. Do you crack the shell no. and let the chocolate out? No, plain. You swallow them and the oysters? No, no. I chew them. I mean, I'll take a bunch. No. Do you know what happens? You gotta let it melt to do that. Okay. Yeah. That's why I can't eat chocolate. So check this out. Throughout my childhood, I used to eat, eat sunflower seeds. I'd take a handful and I'd swallow them whole. Right? With the shell? With the shell. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to say this because it's probably TMI, but <laughs> yes. man, my poops would be funky with those shells, right? Then I get to high school, right? <laughs> and you realize and I'm, my, my coaches are like, I have this coach who's trying to quit chewing tobacco. So he's chewing it and he's spitting out the seeds. And I'm like looking at him like, all of a sudden I make this connection. I'm like, wow, I always... That's right. I always see sunflower seeds all over the ground. You didn't know? I swear to God. So I'm watching because I said, you're wow. supposed to spit the seeds out. He's like, he looks at me and goes, he doesn't even answer yes or no. He looks at me and he goes, well, this, what the hell is wrong with this you? Is, uh, and I'm like, I have to say, you this, this, last people, man, seniors, take note. Bro. This is proof that if no matter who you are or what's wrong with you, if you try, you can be successful. <laughs> I didn't know well, that's why. Okay, so listen. All of yeah, uh, not in there. Wow. Another thing, I'm going to tell you guys because you've seen this, and I'm not telling you guys this to try to romanticize smoking. Okay. My my advice to you is stay away from cigarettes. But what if it's weed? It's <laughs> not bad for your lungs. <laughs> No, the lungs. And the mind. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, what if it's weed? You know, what? you guys will. I mean, hey, listen, cigarette. Like, I, I would say all of these things, when people say cigarettes, weed, alcohol, all of those things in moderation, you know what? I cannot stand up here and tell you guys that there aren't people out there in the world who do those things in moderation and are very successful and are very happy. I cannot tell you that. I would be lying. Okay. My thing to you is, if you don't need it, don't do it. That's my thing. My only okay. experience with success is people I knew who smoked weed daily. They didn't graduate from school. They didn't wind up getting college education. Yeah, see, that I knew people who smoked be... weed daily and went to like Harvard. Well, so I guess there's all different kinds of right. people out there. You know. So my question. Is, so here's what. But the other thing I would tell you is this, Tai Tai, is I'd say, hey, listen. And this goes to not just to you, to everyone. Look at your situation, and if there's something that you're doing that could keep you from being successful, whatever you want for success, then don't do those things. Be disciplined enough to keep those things out of your life. 
Okay. The other thing I would ask you guys is when you think about something like drugs, and I'm not talking about cigarettes here, but drugs, is look at look at the big picture. Look at what's attached to it. And oftentimes, now, will this change with marijuana now that it's become legal? There's a lot of people who say that once we take the crime out of something, we take the crime out of it, right? Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think there will always be crime associated with things, with what we call, um, with what we, uh, what they call sin taxes, but, but like these, these kind of pleasures of the mind and of like these, the, these things that people use to medicate themselves with. I think because the problem is if they're using it to medicate themselves with it, well, they're medicating themselves because there's something wrong. Either there's something wrong personally or in society. And until you get those wrongs taken care of, until you confront those things, then things like drugs will always be important to people who self-medicate. You guys following me here? Yeah. And oftentimes those people who self-medicate get to a degree that they sometimes, if they become addicted, have to turn to a life of crime. Now, the life of crime is a bad thing, but there's also people who are going to make money off of that because they know how desperate they are, right? So I think that that whole kind of world is a very ugly world and it's better to avoid it if you can. But that wasn't my point. My point was about m and <laughs> And that was, they are obviously I didn't know that you eat them, you mm -hmm. eat them. Which to, wall? I just felt that the yeah, Right. It's not one by one, because that's. Oh, but then the other thing is. You know what? So I never it's knew. A whole handful I will not eat them that way. <laughs> I just one by one. But another thing, I sick. never knew. I told you. I told you guys a story about cigarettes, right? No, I mean, it's disgusting. All my life, I if I smoked a cigarette, she said, excuse me, language, please. Thank you. All my life, when I smoked it, and you know, sometimes I like as a little kid, I did it just to just you know just to do it. Smoke. Well, not on a regular basis, but like I'll give you an example. I don't know if you guys have ever traveled Highway 13. Have you ever traveled Highway 13 from Davis to Woodland? Oh, 113. Oh, is it 113? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 113. Reasonable. Okay, I live. My dad lived off of 113, so when it was being built. That's kind of neat, right? It was all dirt. Yeah, me and my friends, where I grew up, we would go out there and we would play in the construction zones. We'd have massive dirt cool. plot fights, stuff like that. Well, with me and my friends, I grew up in foreign student housing at UC Davis. My dad, being a British citizen, qualified for foreign student housing. It was foreign student housing for people with kids. So wow. these apartments were only for foreign students who had kids, right? So my right, and so me and my friends, we were all from different countries and stuff. So the guys I played with, that we hung out with on the construction, we would pretend like, you know, we we're all into World War II stuff. So German and British soldiers. So we would. <laughs> so sometimes we'd steal our parents' cigarettes. My dad smoked back then, and I would I would like walk along the thing. And we'd pretend like we were guards. We'd have oh, like sticks, pretend like they were guns. And then we'd confront Germans and sometimes we would exchange cigarettes for like secrets and stuff. So we play these games, right? Now all my life, now here's the thing. So I would do it because I would see my father do it. And here's how I would see my father smoke a cigarette. This is how he'd go. So that's how I would do it. Jump to I'm 26 years old. One of my really good friends, Tim Kirk has just come back from, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Desert Storm, but that was the first, kind of the first Gulf War. It was when Iraq invaded Kuwait and then we went to war with Iraq, okay. He just came back from that and it was just, you know, great victory for us. We annihilated the Iraqi army. It was a, as far as wars go, it was an easy war. That doesn't mean people didn't die. He came back and I went and saw him and he said, Hey, you gotta go out with me. I want you to have a, you know, go out and have a beer with me. So I was having a beer and he says, Hey, I'm gonna go out and have a cigarette. And I don't smoke, right? He says, No, no, no. He says, I just, you know, risk my ass for you, people like you. You're gonna come out and have a cigarette. So I laughed, I was like, all right, all right, fine, I'll come have a cigarette with you. So I'm sitting outside in front of this bar and you know, and I'm smoking and he stops and he looks at me and goes, Do that again. I go, okay. 
Do you, do you know how to smoke a cigarette? I'm like, yeah, I'm smoking it. He goes, you know you're supposed to inhale it. I'm like, the hell is wrong? Who the hell would inhale this stuff? He goes, have you ever, like, inhaled a cigarette? And I'm like, no. He goes, why the hell are you smoking? Because he told me to. I said, no. Well, yeah. I didn't know. I, you know, I used to think to myself, who, like, I would hear people say, they like, I didn't understand how people got addicted. I thought they were getting addicted to looking cool. You guys following me here? I didn't know people were inhaling. So when people would, like, like I think, you know, you know, as a kid, like, how do people get addicted to this stuff? Right? 26 years old. I found out that people, and I was like, well, I, and I, 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 to this day, to this day, I have never inhaled cigarettes. And I won't. It's like, it just, it sounds absolutely disgusting to me. I have second hand smoke. Okay. It's fake. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, having said all of that, <laughs> maybe one judicial power of the governor. Said, uh, like that's a No, notice I said said. I didn't say <laughs> having taught all of that. Because no one says it's home. I'm sorry, that wasn't the question. One duty or responsibility <laughs> of the Lieutenant Governor for the state of California. <laughs> Did you just say you have snack food <laughs> observation? No, you said duty, I said yes, that's an accurate observation. Oh, I, I thought you said snack food observation. Yes, folks. <laughs> so basically, here's a question to you guys. The lieutenant governor is to the governor as the blank is to the president. Vice president. Thank you, Trevor. What? The lieutenant governor is to the governor as the vice president is to the president. So if something should happen to the president, okay? Who takes over? Who becomes the president of the United States? Vice president. Vice president. Very good. Right. Well, the vice president. Right. So if someone, so if something happens to our governor, who would take over? You guys know who the lieutenant governor is right now? I should give you guys just one last homework assignment. No. Who is the lieutenant governor of the state of California? Please, Trevor, don't look it up and yell it out. I won't. Do it. Yeah, I just do it. Okay. My father, when I was in high school, worked for the lieutenant governor. That was Merv Diamond. Wow. He was very rare in the fact that he was a uh, African American. There weren't a lot of African Americans holding positions like that back in the very early eighties. There were some, but not too many. That's true. Okay, the next one is the Secretary of State. Turn to page 700. Then we got the State Controller, the State Treasurer, and the State Attorney General. Can we yell it out? So please. Gavin Newsom. Yep. Yeah. Gavin Newsom. Something you hang by. Yeah, this is What's that? Name. <laughs> He's got an interesting name. You said you're going to it. It's nice one. Yeah, this is the same thing. No. No, that phone's supposed to be smart. You're supposed to tell Siri and ask her a question. She'll give you an answer. But no, she wants to go on Google and give you the definition of it. Wow. Okay, Did it? Lieutenant California. No. You, Lieutenant Governor of California. Yeah, right. What's going on right now? Who's the Lieutenant Governor of California? <laughs> You continue. Awesome. You guys, study. Everything you need to study is there. You guys have any questions? Hello, coaches. Oh, did you, did you see that? Was it, were you trying to hide something? <laughs> oh, I don't like it when coaches are walking by. 
No, I just told you the other day I would stop doing this. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's wrong. You have to be sorry. Oh, 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 Too smart to be this stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. You thought you were gonna give me this one? I got two. <laughs> Fun. Well, go ahead and say, call me a snitch. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I am a snitch. I know you better pay attention, though. Are you guys brothers? I'm gonna stay. I How do you know? Can you see the resemblance? Yeah. No. I'm gonna let like that. Bag. <laughs> that sandbag. Look at it. <laughs> uh, we'll wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy That's Friday. all about love. Yes, it That's is. all about love, Austin. Awesome. Happy. Oh my God. Well, you thought I would have never. Just no, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Here's the problem I have. I would have never said anything except I noticed. See what happened is, remember I told you guys I can see the whole class line. right now. I can really see. It. <laughs> and then you, no, <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I wouldn't have said it, but as soon as he walked by, you're like, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, you know that? Then don't hide things from you." Listen. That's always right. conduct your business. Live your life so that everything you do, you're not ashamed. You know what I'm saying? That's how you should live your life. Okay. Don't keep flipping me out. You want me to call him over here? Oh. oh. Tell me, I'm a terrible snitch, man. I am just. <laughs> but you're a good teacher, though. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to teach you guys how to not you gotta go to eBay, you know, Okay. Guys, do you have questions for me? Are you a snitch? Be ready. Why am I a snitch? Because I love you, guys. That's why I'm a snitch. Why do you look? Why? Say, leave me alone. Because you just look so lovable. That's crazy. Look. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to study for something. For harassment. I think you, you guys should be studying right now. Go through, put away the phone, and study. <laughs> Use this time to study because I know most of you aren't going to study this weekend. So study. It's a closed book, closed note final. You've had the information for you for a long time now. I only added this part the other day. They said time to be on the final. No, that's going to be on the final. The governor's powers. It's the other. Um, you know what? You're right. I said that, and I included the governor's powers in the other offices. You're right. Either that or you 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 know, you just planted a seed of doubt in my mind. No, he said that. He said that yesterday. You didn't remember that the, the finals were next week. As a teacher, you forgot the finals were next no, week. But see, that doesn't help. You're enabling them. You're empowering them. You're looking at me like, they got you there. You're funny and the most cool nice These guys are great. Okay, so real quick, Andrew. Minimum age, or I'm sorry, yeah, minimum age for being a legislator in the state of California is? 18. Yeah. Libby. I'm asking Christian. Minimum age, I'm asking Christian. You, know, you, you know what? You I'm asking busy. her. I am teaching American government. Answer this is not question. third period to ask What's your questions. What's your question? Minimum age being a California governor. Good. No! Oh, You're it's not 18. God, the governor. Fish. What? All right, Devin, help her out. Governor, minimum age, state of California. Eighteen? Yeah. Nope. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You should be called Coach back. Like, right. Okay, Barry. Can we call him back? You really want to go there? What you say if I use the wrong words? Consequences. He sent her that paper plane. Next Monday. He's talking right now. Next Friday. Well, I'm getting the pen back over. He's talking. So you need to talk to him? Ah, uh, might be. You need to talk to him? Go out and talk to him. Stuff might go down. If you need to, is it important? This plane might go flying. That plane isn't going to fly. <laughs> okay. 
It will not fly. If it flies, you're going to regret it. Uh, oh, you fly it. It's fine. Okay. Tyler. This song is Hey, excuse me, guys. Hey, state legislator, California Bill. We're going to do this right up to the bell, guys. I was going to let you guys work independently, but I just don't think that's going to happen. When is the Soon? When it rains, I honestly don't know. 110,000. Nico, hey, for the governor of the state of California, Trevor, please turn around. Hey, you need to take some work out and do it. That was the whole point of putting away your phone. Okay? Nico, hey, for the governor. Trevor, turn around. Don't look back at your Excuse me. Nico, hey, for the governor. State of California. Say my name. No. Legislators are 110. Governor is? 175. Both. Both. Devin, how many years is one term in this California assembly? Four. No. Two. Very good. Now, how many years total can an assembly member work? Four. Nope. Eight. Nope. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Because there are how many terms? Their term limits are three. Andrew, how many years? Don't 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 take it out. Don't take it out. Put it back. It doesn't. You don't need to check it right now. Is it your mom? Hey, my. You you can check it if it's your mom. It's, no, no. Okay, Andrew. Now, what was my question? Senate. How many years in the Senate? One term. Two. No, four. Four. Libby, what's the term limit for a California senator? Two. No. Two years. Two, not two years. Two terms. Four years. Total of eight years. Question. Tyler, what is the pay for being a legislator in the state of California? Xavier, yes. how many assembly members are there in the state of California? 80. Libby, how many senators are there in the state of California? Quick <laughs> signaling. <laughs> it takes too long. She doesn't pay attention. Ty Ty. What's that? A little, uh, I do for my work. Uh, Does it say 48? I believe it says 40. It says 40. Ty Top, question. Maybe one executive power for the governor of the state of California. Uh, protection of the citizens' rights. Uh, I, I, you're getting it convoluted with the Constitution. An executive power. I mean, I, you know, in the end, he's there to protect their civil rights, their citizens' rights. To execute and enforce laws. <laughs> now you're giving me. The definition of an executor. Now, specifically in the state of California, one of his executive powers is what, Devin? Oh, man, you guys need to study this this weekend. Tyler, go ahead. Can you answer? You guys remember? There were four of them. Do you remember the four? One, here, I'll give you a hint. One starts, okay, military is one. One starts with an S. I remember the one that starts with an S. Super, very good. Supervisory powers. There's another, so so I'm gonna give you, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play out a scenario and you tell me what the powers are. Xavier, yes. you can become the head of the Department of Traffic and Safety. Mm -hmm. Devin, I'm going, you are no longer the head of the Department of Traffic and Safety. What power did I just execute? Your appointment and removal. Appointment and removal. Okay, hold on. Here's another power. Andrew, here's $800,000. Take it and help build this bridge. Make sure that bridge gets built. What power did I just execute? Excellent. Budgeting powers. Excuse me. What's going on over there? I'm not done. No, 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 no. Have a seat. This class ain't over. I said we are going to review until class is over. Okay. You can still review, and I can still send up. Yeah, but see. The winners of the House Army Toy Fest Award Party for bringing in the most gifts are the following time. 
You got no work done today that you did. You never took out work out there. I told you to put away your plane. What did you take out? Oh, I was on my phone. I was typing up that little paragraph thing on the thing. What about you? What? The five paragraphs? The short story. Did you write the five paragraphs? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say something? Um, oh, so I don't have a problem with that. What's the final schedule like? The final schedule? I don't remember. Uh, I, I really don't remember. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Is it one, two, three, four? I also do not know what the end is. I don't. Can I just not show up to school? Bye. No, go to the main office and check. Nothing else not show up. Well, okay, yeah, do that. They want you to do that for math. That's where you really should make sure. Hey, were you on time for that today? I think so. Big mm -hmm. stuff. Shit. I probably want to just <laughs> Okay, that would look really, I'm going to tell you something right now. Were you on time? Yeah, that was. Go outside. Did we turn in this math yesterday? I did.